Thanks for rolling up. What you about Marley Nation Certified Pod? <laughs> Got some super flame from my homie, my dude. Super, super duper. So, let's jump in here, bro. The first medical marijuana petition in Nebraska gathered more than enough signatures to make the ballot, but the same group is struggling in 2022. One key difference could be paid petitioners, as 3 News Now's Alex Whitney reports. Hold on, what's happening? Let's, let's, uh, hold on, hold on. So, in Nebraska, does Nebraska have medical? Like, or does she say they're still trying to get medical? I don't understand. What the, the first the, uh, medical marijuana petition in Nebraska gathered more than enough signatures to make the ballot, but the same group is struggling in 2022. One key difference could be paid petitioners, as 3 News Now's Alex Whitney reports. Did they end up with medical? Like, like he said, he said the first run they got enough signatures. That shit, that's okay. That shit must have went up for a vote and didn't pass. Like, like Nebraska. Okay, I can see that shit not passing in Nebraska. What is it? Eighty-two people with Nebraska. I can see that shit not passing. It takes a lot to bring a ballot initiative to the voters. It requires at least 10% of registered Nebraska voters to sign a petition, which is well over 100,000 signatures. And you can't just leave a petition around for folks to sign. Someone has to go and collect those signatures. And this is an entirely volunteer effort. A lot of the people that are out here today collecting and volunteering and across the state are people who have kids with epilepsy are people who are battling cancer. And so we've carried the water in terms of collecting over 150,000 signatures. Nebraskans from- Okay, so hold on. Why, 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 why they can't pay niggas? All right, so, so this, Nebraskans for, 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 for medical marijuana. We give people just to volunteer their time and go out and collect signatures for, which, you know what I'm saying, if you really, Trying to get mad, mad on it, on on the ballot. You going to do it? That's why that lady said it's all moms with kids with epilepsy and shit is the ones that's volunteering and shit. But mm, 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 your range is going to be limited. Medical marijuana is in the final stretch of its all volunteer 2022 petition drive. The group is fighting an uphill battle trying to gather enough signatures to qualify for the ballot. A big change from its 2020 campaign which saw the group collect almost 60,000 more signatures than was required. One key difference between the two has been funding. Historically, I don't think there was ever an expectation that the people who were circulating petitions would be paid to do it, but certainly it's become a situation where those that are uh, that do use paid circulators do have a much better chance of success. In 2020, Nebraskans for Medical Marijuana had the financial backing to bring in paid circulators to gather enough signatures. They lost that in 2022 after the unexpected death of a major donor. So is it the dollars that make a difference? It's just a fact of life in understanding modern campaigns and elections. It's, it's, it's just a reality. Um, having professionals uh, work in your campaigns improves the reliability uh, of what you're doing. Nebraska uh, that's, that's the ugly truth, bro. That's the ugly truth, bro. That, that, that it's going to take getting money behind this shit for this shit to uh really do some shit <sighs> that's terrible bro Raskins for medical marijuana still needs to gather tens of thousands of signatures before the thursday deadline i haven't counted everything yet because i've been out circulating um so i would say we probably need another twenty thousand on each petition to come in in the next three days for us to feel confident that we've got enough signatures to turn them in so it remains good lord bro did you need 20,000? 20,000? 20, on, on three, so is that 60,000? 60, $60,000. Fuck, bruh. 
That's ugly, bro. So that's sixty thousand dollars. Sixty thousand people to sign this shit in three days. It's not that it can't be done. It's not that it can't be done. It's, it's uh, stoners going to need to get up and go, bro. Um, yeah, Nebraska stoners, bro. If y'all really want this medical out there, bro, y'all going to need to um footwork, bro. Get out there and go sign some shit. Remains to be seen whether the lack of paid petitioners will be the difference between success and failure for this ballot initiative. For three news now. I'm Alex Whitney. Nebraskans for medical marijuana are gathering their final batch of signatures tonight before turning them into the Secretary of State on Thursday. Mm, that's ugly, bro. I don't know that they're going to do that. It seems like Nebraska, the, Nebraska missed the boat this time. Nebraska missed the boat. Yo, know, it's it's a shame that you know what I mean the death of one of their donors stopped them from being able to get enough signatures for that. That's that's fucking terrible, bro. Terrible. 